Hi everyone, I'm Journal Page and I'm starting with just gluing some book pages and all kinds of leftovers uh, in to have some details in the back. Now I, I do it mostly for some details and some texture. Uh, it can be done also by stamping. So if you don't like the texture and all the things that go in the back, you can do it with just stamping. And I'm just going to take some white glue and start gluing some pieces. And it's quite random. I'm working in this art journal that I made from... Um, watercolor paper I have I have many uh, watercolor pads so I just took some and bound them into a journal let's see let's let's put another piece Trying to be quick about it. It's not. A, it doesn't need to be precise or perfect or anything. When I'm doing something like that, it doesn't matter if it's gluing pieces or if it's paint or stamping. I, pr I try to have the same pattern at least in three areas on my page. Just works for me. Okay, let's see. I've got something this all kinds of stuff can be used just a matter of what details you want in the back and of course you need to know that some of it is gonna get covered so don't get attached to it <laughs> Okay, let's do just a little bit. Again, I don't know, I'm just gluing and I don't know what of this is going to get covered. And it, I am going to push it back. So it would be a background with details and not something that will take all interest from what is going to be on the background. Okay, I've got something like this, but I think it's just too much for this page, so I'm letting it be. Now, finished with gluing this, I want to start, uh, as I said, pushing it back. Now, the glue is still wet, but I don't care, I'm moving on to gesso. The worst that could happen, I will have some crackle effect. So I'm just going to take some gesso. And let's see, I'm starting just with smearing it 
with my finger you can do it with a brush whatever you feel is more suitable to you I just like it like this now right now I'm just going over the edges of the pieces and after I'm finished with this I'm going to go on top of the pieces with a little bit more diluted gesso so I can push it into the background so it won't be so uh, so pronounced on the page <laughs> sometimes I don't have a way to explain what I'm doing okay so just around the pieces especially where I have straight edges like here it doesn't have to disappear completely you just need I need at least to blur it to smudge it and so it would go more into the background so let's take some water where is my spray bottle here it is I'm putting a little bit of water here taking a brush let's see and just now it needs more water So as you can see, pushing it back. I can still see the details, but they are not as pronounced. And you can also, you don't have to push back everything. You can decide that some of it would be more visible on the background. It's really up to you what you want to see. Okay, so that's the start of my background. I uh, need to this to dry completely and then we'll continue. I'll be back. Okay, so this is not dry, but I decided that I don't care and I'm continuing. I'm just going to use some watercolor, this turquoise color, and you can use also a diluted acrylic with water or sprays. I'm just going to add some color to my page and I want it watery and less under controls and I don't care as I said if it mixes with the gesso I'm just going to put it randomly on my page and let it go places wherever it goes <laughs> Let's help it along with a little bit more water. I'm helping it spread. And the texture I have from the pieces of paper I've glued helps it. So that's great. I 
really like what's going on here with the gesso how it's spreading so it's good that I <laughs> didn't wait for all of this to dry and I'm thinking of adding another color let's see mm. uh, this uh, watercolor kit is I have it like three decades it's pelican and I don't think they are making them um, anymore and it really doesn't matter what kind of watercolors you have just play and mostly I pick up my paints according to the shade I want to uh, use and it really doesn't matter to me which medium it is if I know I want this shade of turquoise then I will use the watercolors if I know I want in something else I will use if anything else if it's the sprays the acrylic paint uh, whatever I have so let's see I'm thinking maybe some of this olive green again I'm putting it at least in three places on my page but otherwise it's quite random and I'm going to spray it in a minute just so to help it spread just a little bit help from some water and I feel like I don't have enough here so again just adding and now I really like it I'm going to let this dry completely this time and then I'll be back okay finally it's uh, dry and I want to add more details to my page I've picked some ink pads, I've got Olive Grove from Memento, I've got some Dusty Concord uh, Distress Ink and Pine Needles and some uh, stamps, I've got something like scribbled text that uh, I want to do randomly on the page and I've got this that I made, this, are, this is made just from a uh, craft foam and this is craft foam with I, I think it's called gaskets I'm not sure <laughs> it's from the hardware uh, aisle at the cheap store and so let's see what to do first let's uh, start with the text and I think I'll do it with this so just again adding it randomly I'm not concerned about it being perfect just spreading it yeah maybe a little bit here okay next let's do some dots do I want it with this or this don't know <laughs> let's go for it it doesn't matter Yeah. I've got the details in the back from what I've <clears throat> glued to the page and now I'm just adding more detail. Just because <laughs> I think it just ties everything in okay now let's do this I'm making a mess here of course 
Okay. Circles are always great. I love circles. Okay, yeah, now I'm really happy with it. And focal point, so I have this focal point. I've made it a long time ago and waited to use it. I have this stencil that I made and I just trace it on, trace the shape with a permanent mar black permanent marker on a white yeah, I think it was white Bristol page paper and then I um, colored it with watercolor pencils. That's it. That's my focal image and now some glue in the back. I want some also some words here but I'm not sure which. First I'm going to put my focal image so I can see what's going on with all this together. Okay. So let's try. Okay. I've got this, I just want to give the, my focal image some base, so I'm thinking a washi tape. It doesn't really matter because it's not like it's realism, it's just, but I still feel like I need something here, so let me get some washi tape and let's see. Let's do this. No. Uh, something maybe green. I don't know. Really doesn't matter, so stop overthinking it. This one and Just a little bit more detailing. Don't get to use my washi tapes. So it's good to <laughs> remember I'm once in <laughs> to just use them. Okay, maybe, yeah, why not, let's go for it, some more detailing, something that will give some framing to my page. I think just one more. Mm. This one got smooshed. I don't know, it's not straight. Never mind. Yeah, that's it. 
Okay, words, I need to go figure some words that I want to put on my page and I'll be back. Okay, put some words here, cherish every moment and the last thing I want to do is just uh, make it more uh, pronounced, the focal point and the words. I'm going to use this uh, plain pencil, it's a 6B. Uh, I have a Stabilo all-purpose that I could have used. It's a stronger. It it's uh, activated with water, but I decided to go on something like this because I don't want anything more uh, watery on this page. Don't want to uh, mess with it. So I'm just going with this uh, 6B or 10B, 12B, whatever is just a darker and softer graphite uh, so it, you can also smear it with your finger or with this uh, thing that I really don't know what it's called so I'm just adding some shadowing to make things pop on the page mostly underneath the shape just putting it like this very quickly and I'll do a little bit of smearing with this before I had the Stabilo all-purpose <laughs> couldn't get my hands on one I used all kinds of stuff like a, a pencil eyeliner it works great to smear and also eyeshadow can uh, you can also use it to do some shadowing I think I'll add just a little bit here whoopsie it's a good thing it's just a pencil Okay, again, some smearing. Yeah, now I'm happy. This is my page. I hope you liked it. Thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments down below. I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye for now.